Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to the second episode here on FTV Inferno. Now, from the last episode, we left off right around here, the point where we got the smeltery controller. Now, in order to proceed, we need some iron, which I already got, and we also need some rose gold. How do we make rose gold? Well, we gotta smelt down some copper and some gold. Luckily for me, I set up over here our pretty good smelter, pretty basic. Uh, it still needs a little bit more lava, and that's how I got all this iron and all my iron tools as well. I smelted all those iron nuggets or whatever it's called, whatever it's called, and I got that. Uh, still got a block of iron and seven iron ingots, so we gotta probably need a little bit more. Right now, I'm gonna smelt about four of these i think it's a good mix and as soon as i get all these guys mixed up we can then proceed into making a mixing cauldron quick side note you might notice i no longer have my totem of undying well that's because i found something that i shouldn't have found which is over there yeah it's it's not a fortress it's more like a witch tower kind of a thingy uh right over here it's this thing and uh let's just say i got i, I nearly died luckily i told him which uh, saved me basically and we just got ourselves some rose gold and we got ourselves a mixing cauldron from xri now this is where the fun begins first of all we got ourselves a really good lava tank which i'm just gonna block down here and then just fill our smeltery that's really really good and i'm also gonna place this bad boy here and i don't think he needs lava right now he probably will need it uh in the future but right now we need to make a dark gem how do we make a dark gem with a little bit of lava some coal or charcoal yeah i'm gonna probably do some charcoal quartz and redstone dust now we just wait a little bit and we got ourselves a dark gem now you can only do this like one at a time i think but i really want to get a couple of these because i know i'm going to use them eventually so might as well just yeah get this done and dusted grab the dark gem from there and there you go some got some achievements going some ender pearls some more dark gems and now we go into this beautiful, beautiful world of mine colonies. Of course, the recipe wasn't just that easy. Uh, I gotta get some scorched stones, and for that, I'm just, uh, I even made one black stone too much. Uh, I can actually, like, smelt these pieces down uh, because I don't need them anymore. So I'm pretty sure I can just eat them up. Yeah, there we go. And we also need one gold ingot, so we make a cast out of that thing. And this campfire is really starting to annoy me. And now with two magma slime balls, which you can make... Wait. Wait, what? Never mind, I was just using the wrong rods. There we go, we need these guys. And now it will become scorched. Yes, this is the ones we need. Now, with the proper tools, we can now do this for like the third time. There we go. Now we actually have the building tool. That's so good. And we also get an Inferno Supply Camp. Now, this is where things start to get really, really good. Okay, I, want, I don't want to go like too far away from there, but I also don't want to stay like super, super, super duper close. Because this thing is going to be massive in its time so i'm just gonna pull it somewhere over here uh okay wait this is just a chest oh oh okay um sh sh sure wait what where's the camp though and we got some nice bedrock that's okay that's good and we placed it we got this amazing sword which is an amazing sword by the way and now we must make ourselves a town hall 
Now, the cool thing about this is whenever you have a recipe that takes the build tool, well, you don't actually lose the build tool. So that's pretty good. And this build tool has an amazing power, which is being capable of breaking bedrock. Yep. 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 This thing is capable of breaking bedrock. I mean, it gives you blackstone instead but this basically allows you to like terraform even though you're in a bedrock world kinda which is pretty pretty good now let's try and get a move on with our town hall over here so i'm gonna use the build tool yeah and i'm gonna place the town hall as soon as I find it, I gotta put the warped, but now I gotta find, wait, where's the town hall? It's gotta be on warped, right? Oh, it's on decorations, sorry. There we go. Now we can take a look of how it's gonna be, where it's gonna take us. This is the, like, it's max range. And I think it looks in a pretty good spot, close to our things over here. So I'm gonna say yes. And we're done, well, sort of <laughs> uh we now need to create a new colony there we go yeah that's really good and if we go ahead and we grab all these things i should not have made this hold up yeah i completely forgot that we were given a capsule for this so <laughs> there we go uh place anyway there we go and it's missing like two netherrack for some reason so i'm gonna go ahead and get that and while we're at it i'm gonna place this magnum torch uh kind of close to this so it actually removes mobs like from from spawning here because that thing is a massive range and now that the town hall has been made we get some saplings some teleport scrolls a clipboard which is also really good and we now need to make the most important thing in here, which is a builder's hut. It's pretty easy to do, just some wood and a door, and we get ourselves a builder's hut. Now, we can see we already start to get a following over here, so we already have some visitors. Uh, we can call them that, I guess. So, let's go ahead and I'm gonna even make two of them. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to need... I mean, I know I'm going to need more than this. One's just not enough. So let's just say we're going to build it over here. So of course we want to use this. And in order to use this... Uh, yeah, you can see how massive the town hall is going to be. So we're going to move this along like three blocks uh so like that perfect and then we can actually scale this to the max level so we can see how it's gonna end up looking and the entrance is over here which i don't want i want this to rotate sort of no one more okay i like i think i like it like this I just want to align this exit with that exit over there. Perfect. Now we can go from there. Uh, I'm going to leave fi a five block gap. Uh, we can go from there into there, like straight on. And then we can leave for the rest of the houses. So that's perfect. We're going to click OK. And it is now done. Now the best part about this is at the beginning of the game they're gonna give me a bunch of resources like a bunch of resources and i should have not placed this and of course i'm getting nauseous from eating <laughs> bad food but i'm gonna break this again like i did over there or am i hold up i think i'm just gonna come over on this side place this one so you guys can see the difference on why you should use these capsules a lot and Boom! We got ourselves a builder set. Now, this one is... Okay, five blocks, but it's not as centered as the other one is, but really doesn't mind that much. 
and we flip twice uh let's use the build tool just so we can rotate rotate and now it is perfectly in place how it should be and we can place it down now we're gonna assign a worker here so manage workers and we want the best one best one is this one this guy which has five adaptability and two athletics we're gonna get better guys down the line but until we we do basically we're gonna call that dude over here can we call him i think we can call him right uh recall worker yeah there it is there you go hello hello you're gonna repair whatever's wrong <laughs> whatever's wrong here oh we got a lot of people and build building yes now this is gonna get built i still have another builder's hut which i'm gonna place over there and these guys are gathering right here because there is a day and night cycle so they have to sleep but uh you don't now i think before we move like a lot with this mod with the builder's mod which you can see the guys already start working and doing things i'm gonna go ahead and finish up this area and to do that we gotta make the summoning altar over here now i went ahead and i found myself some of these rose quartz crystals they can be easily found if you just go exploring the bedrock up here but you gotta find this biome the crystal in chasm and you just find it and they're just basically standing on top of bedrock you break them that's pretty easy and simple to do uh what we get this time nothing oh okay perfect now we're just gonna grab a little bit of gold and what was the rest of the recipe and i think it's just a piece of glass or does it oh no it actually needs to be warped window so let's just grab a piece of glass and grab some wood right here and hopefully with this we have everything we need which perfect we do summoning altar that's amazing now why do we want this summoning altar this is basically going to allow us to well, get a wolf uh get a strider maybe if you want to uh grab a cow a chicken a sheep and a rabbit so we can start making farms out of these dudes but most importantly bees now one of the things that you probably won't be doing is making these miners delights and foresters delight these items they're really easy to make just tools from made out of wood and then you just do the warp fungus on them and you got all these bad things not bad things good things sorry <laughs> and these are really good uh because your workers want them they they kind of want them to well build stuff so i'm working on it so i can open his inventory drop this there you can go and now if i go to the other one i can do the same so i went ahead got myself some poppies and i also turned on the shaders because they're 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 kind of cool they're kind of cool uh i made a compost barrel which gave me three more uh i also killed some sort of bosses or whatever and they gave me this loot so i got a shulker box i mean i got two shulkers uh plus some normal loot i also got these two which they're useless right now so let's just save them uh but right now i'm i was thinking of actually summoning some things you know because we can summon uh a wolf uh a strider and all this of the farm animals like a cow a chicken a sheep and a rabbit i'm gonna try and summon all these guys uh the rabbits i need to pay attention to because they'll probably get away if i'm if i'm not like careful but the main goal would also be summon a piglin because i think we can summon one uh then i also need to observe a goblin which i uh hogwin sorry but i also have a hogwin spawn egg but first i want to try and get some animals and a piglin so that i can trade in my gold like really easily so one of the most important things is probably the piglin i think i can even do it from here right so if we just toss all these things here and then we give it this hopefully he will not run away or like hop over the fence hopefully come on come on give me what i want 
There it is. Hello, boy. You, 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 you can't get away from there. Uh, if I wear gold, you should leave me alone. But I kind of want to trade my gold first. Oh, hello there. I got... A, a, a decent upgrade. They have soul speed and a lot of sparks of sets. Holy cow, this guy's giving me a lot of things. And I got what I wanted another hoglin. Aha, the barrels are now done, which means I can pop this thing out and then I can make it into dirt. And we got dirt, which means I can actually grow this oak sapling I got from just hitting like leaves in the nether. So we can now like grab this and hopefully we can grab some more. Okay, we got, what's this? Oh, acorns. Okay, okay. And we got an apple, which is kind of good. And we got more saplings. Uh, we're good because I, I really like oak. And I think oak is one of the like necessary things for a lot of these guys building. So this is good. There we go. We now have a so like couple of hoggins. I also put the warped uh, fungus there, so those guys just stay put. And I believe if we just get some creams and fungus, I can make them breed. Uh, is this not how they were? Oh, do they have to like not be aggressive? Okay, I'm missing something. Okay, never mind. They were just they were just scared of. Okay, there you go. And now I can place this back down so those guys stop hitting me because uh, they, they, they can actually hit me from here, apparently. Uh, that's, that's kind of annoying. Now, this is an amazing, amazing find. So grass, if you just shift, it will bone meal it and you can break it to get the seeds. I've been doing this a little bit. I got sage seeds, demon seeds, hemp seeds, wheat seeds. Uh, I'm not getting any other ones, so I'm not sure if that's all of them. It probably is. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get any other any other type of seed, but I still got some pretty good ones. And now I kind of want to get my hands on the bees and we have this propellant canes and I think if we throw them here, yeah, we get sugar cane and then we can turn this into just normal sugar and let's see if we can make a bee. I think I can make a bee out of this. Oh, there we go. We got a bee and uh, we got to grab this so we can grab one of the bees. Uh, hello, where is the other one? Oh, there she is. Uh, I don't think I care about it. Uh, but you know what? I kind of have to kill them, though. Yeah, because I need honey. So, uh, if we can just, uh, without them realizing, kill them. Because I can make another one. Okay, they're very, very stubborn. What do you mean you don't want to stay in this fiery pit? Stay there. Oh my god. And just by putting the honey into a warp plank, we can now do this mission with the beehive, which gives us this capsule. This capsule will be our starting, well, bees. So, I think I'll just put it over here. Uh, this is nothing too crazy, I think. I think it's actually, like, equal on every single side. Yeah. Uh, okay, there's a the door. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty basic place. Pretty basic. And I think if we can just put this beehive somewhere around here. I'm gonna put it there for now. And uh, then I just need to make some more bees, which I can just hit it like this. And then I'm going to move them into there and we should be able to get honey. And I don't have a skin because the game didn't load correctly. And after a couple more buildings, we now have some houses deployed and we have a fisherman. And this building actually gives us water. So if we just use a fishing rod like this guy is using, we can get 
yeah tropical fish puffer fish ink sacs sea pickle scalp raw salmon and this guy can actually supply my village with food because uh yeah there you go we already have two salmon there which means i need to set up some couriers to pick those things up i need a warehouse i need a kitchen to feed everybody we we have a lot to do here we have a lot to do and i also need to manage my inventory over here because we're starting to get a little bit crazy so we may need to sort some things out just on the next episode but with all that said guys it's all the time i have for today hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and i still have no skin because the game does not like me right now but that's fine that's fine so yeah see you in the next one bye